Alrighty, folks, welcome back. It is time for a new scenario of Atlanta is ours. And this one is called From the Ustanuwala River to the Itawa. And it's named for a pair of rivers. This one here. You can see our forces are arrayed around. And then this minor river here. Right. So basically where this picks up, it is a few days after the Battle of Osaka, and Johnston is retreating. So I will talk about the scenario special rules very quickly. Um, I can condense it um, pretty good. So the first rule, um, we got to talk about is the Confederates can do a night march, which is basically an activate army action, which means Johnston can roll movement for up to 10 units, which you can do at the start of the game, um, which I think the rule book suggests that you do that um, to prevent, you know, the wings of the Union Army from closing in, um, encircling and entrapping. Johnson's army. Uh, so that's definitely a good idea. Uh, the Confederates can do some railroad movement with uh, French and a unit that's coming on as a reinforcement called Cockerel. Uh, and we can use attachment rules for those two units as if it's an advanced game. Um, <clears throat> There's a random event section, so we'll just roll for that now. Here we get a one. So effective cavalry and log barricades. The Union Cav leaders add two to movement die rolls instead of one. Confederate cavalry get an additional one modifier to cavalry retreat die rolls. However, a roll of one will still cause manpower loss. Okay. So, uh, neat. Over here, we have our victory point. So, we can see we've got these nice markers here. So this is worth 15, this is worth 15, 15, 18, 20, 25, 30, 45. And unlike in other scenarios, There is no, you only get the victory points for the highest one. It looks like you get victory points for as many as you have. Now the Union here needs at least 50 VP to win. So probably gonna have to bank on at least taking two or three of those because in additional, excuse me, in addition to the normal uh, manpower losses, Confederates also get bonus manpower losses for causing DR, uh, D little r and D big r results. So the Union has to be careful. Have to be careful. Uh, because if they just kind of bash their heads against the, the wall there, they are going to run into trouble. So let's switch over. Got OCS pulled up here. I was playing some OCS earlier. Pull up our GCACW rules. And uh, while I'm doing that, you know, I will just say I've been playing Tunisia too. Although I did pick up a couple of the other games that interest me. Uh, namely Korea, and I've been having fun learning it, and uh, it's definitely a game I can see myself covering on the channel uh, in the future. But I am nowhere, nowhere near ready for for that. I don't think that that would be very uh, enjoyable. All right, so I've got my rules pulled up. And was there something I was going to look up? I think 
I think I was just pulling it up to get ready, to be honest. Okay. So, then there's one other thing that can happen. If the Union... Oh, I was going to look up bridges, because we can build bridges. The other thing is that at the end of the game, if Confederates can't trace a line of communication to one of these hexes that run off the road down here at the bottom. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Then the Union gets uh, bonus points if they can isolate them like that. So, and it's like, it's, it's kind of steep. It's, it's like nine, nine points. So, yeah, it's like nine points. So, definitely something worth doing, if you can. All right. So with that being said, the last thing I want to mention is that this is a seven day scenario. So it's the longest one that we've played yet. And uh, we will get started and we will do Johnston's Night March. So let's roll for it. Let's see what we get. We get a nice result. So it's six plus two is eight and we can activate up to 10 units and uh i'm gonna activate our infantry units so one two three four five six seven eight One, two, three, four, six, eight. One, two, three, four, six. Let's see how many units have we moved? We've moved three, six, seven, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Two, three. Five, six, seven. So now we can move one more. Let's move Martin. So Martin is going to be, we rolled a six. I think it's a six times two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So that's ten, right? Now the Union automatically wins the next initiative.
But let's activate Let's activate Stoneman and uh, the uh, have units here. So I think when we activate a leader, there's no, I want to say that we can activate as many that report to us. So let's roll. So eight, and let's just visit our movement. All right, so it's eight and two D six plus two. So ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. And then here, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so initiative. So USA again. So let's go with. Let's go with hmm. Let's go with Howard's core. Six. That's one. Now, we will cav retreat with these guys. Let's roll. Oh, you know what? I forgot my extra movement points. We used the cab core leader, so it doesn't, it worked out. All right. So let's roll retreats. And we'll just go Annan, Dibril, Allen. So, Allen. First of all, all of them flip. Dibril, or Allen, gets a manpower loss. Which I believe is going to be one victory point for the Union. One manpower loss is three victory points. All right. So, for cav retreat. Let's figure this out. See if there's any modifiers. Okay. So it is a very large force because the combined value is more than three. So two. So nine, seven, four. And have it. Okay. 
So wood is done moving. They're shut down. And then Wheeler and Company go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now over here, let's go one, two, three, four, five. And a cab retreat. We're not going to cab retreat because we'd be looking at a pretty close attack. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we won't cavalry just yet. Now we are back to the Confederates. Oh, I forgot to fatigue. I forgot to fatigue my cab. Okay. Now what do we do? Well, let's activate hood. We'll go five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that's going to trigger an EM roll. They pass. One, two, three, four. We'll leave them there. All right, back to the Union. Move Schofield. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Better see. So let's take Humes. Five, we're looking at seven. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Confederacy again. Go Hardy. We go one, two, three, four. Union. All right, let's go. Let's go, McCook. Five. With the bonus, they go to seven. So one, two, three, seven. Union again. Go Stoneman. All right, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now that's kind of putting us in square in the path of hood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's better. Union again. Let's send Davis. Five. One, two, three, 
four, five. Veterans. Let's let's entrench with French. Uh, and in French. All right. So I have to look this up because I've just been playing Roots to Gettysburg. So 1864. We place a breastwork marker. Confederates again. Let's bring on our reinforcement. One, two, three. Union. Let's go with Davis. Uh, oops. So six. One, two, three, four, five. Confederates. Well, let's see if we can mess up this, what we got to do to mess up this um, platoon, uh, platoon bridge building um, attempt. Okay. If we can build We can get five movement, uh, five points worth. We can prevent it. Uh, so we can do that. Go, so Morgan. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Uh, Let's see. High ties. Go to Confederates. Let's move Ross. One, two, three. Confederates will go Ross again. Go. All right, now this one is Union. So let's see. Let's go Howard's Core. Or one, two, three, four. One, two, four. Confederates. Go Martin. One, two, six, seven, eight. All right, veterans. Let's 
Let's let's spend a pass here. Union Tucker. Six. One, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, six. One, two, three. Union again. Let's go Palmer. Six. One, two, three, four, six. Confederates. Right on. So, Confederate initiative. Let's pass and we'll see how far the Union can get. Alright, let's go Schofield. It's not very far. Okay. Er, er, yeah. Confederates continue to pass. Okay. One, two. No cav retreat. Confederates. Pass again. Go Palmer. One, two, three, five, six. Captain. Six, seven. Uh, continues to be Confederate ball game. Move Polk and his folks. They get to go eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Union. Uh, so let's, let's do. K. Hey, Gerard. Eleven. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. Union. Let's go low. One, two, three, four. Union again. Go ninth, Illinois. One, two, three. Go garage. Um, Let's go Cleburne. That's where we need to go. Uh, 
Cass. Let's go Gerard. Two. Six. Seven. Better see will pass. Let's go low. Six, one, two, six, seven, eight. Better see we'll pass again. Go dodge. Three. One, two, three. Union. Go Logan. One, two, three. One, two, three, six, seven. Union, let's go Logan again. Another good result. One, two, three, four, five, six. Union, go dodge. Go one, two, three. Four, five. Should stick next to me. All right, Confederacy. Get Humes out of the way. Go one, two, <coughs> one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Uh, let's do that instead. Union. I want to run anyone up to three. No, we will pass. And with that, the Confederacy will happily pass as well. So let's move the turn marker before I forget. It's May 18th, and let's hit the recovery button. Okay. So, let's go with initiative. So Confederates. Let's go with Hood. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Union. Let's go. Gerard. Nine. And all we will do is we will move Minty there. Confederacy. Well, this is as good as chance as any to break out. So let's see who we're going to get better odds against. It looks like you know 
I'm not really sure how terrain this is supposed to be. Quite like woods. A provisional swamp, perhaps? Yeah. A rough hex. Alright, so let's start with Martin. Let's see if we can get the assault to go off. Three. We only get to assault with one unit. That's a one to one or one to two. Let's try against Miller. So we have one to two, which is a minus one plus one for the assault. We have a zero plus nothing for tactical and modifier for rough is going to be minus one. Let's roll a die. So minus one. All right, so they got lucky and the modifier is not going to be used. They got nothing for flank, so yeah, final odds is yeah. any defensive bonus for rough terrain. Uh, even, so CSA, USA. Okay. So that is a plus four. So good for the good for the Confederacy. So plus four uh, three. That's a DR. So it is demoralized. And since we hit a DR, that uh, would be minus four VP, but that does not count against cavalry. So we go to initiative roll and we're back to the union. So let's go with Logan. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's go. Will we have retreats? I think if we do 
do. I don't think we do. So if we don't, I think we're going to get bottled up here. But if we do, we might just get straight up annihilated. Hmm. All right, let's say no. Let's put it on the Union. So they have two movement points left. So they can do a normal attack with no modifier. And so that'll be a six to one plus five. Right, let's see, artillery. We don't use the modifier. Plus five. Plus two tacticals, plus seven. Maybe we should do the cav retreat because also we'd be looking at a plus 10 because of linking. So let's do the cav retreat. Thank you, Union player, for taking that back. So we got a six plus one is seven. That's going to end there. That's going to end their movement. We'll go one, two, three. Then we go one, two, three, four. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven. All right, it's going to be interesting to see who wins this initiative. And it's the Confederacy. So Martin will activate his units. We'll go there and we have to stop. All right, 5-5, five, five. that's going to be a tie for the Confederacy. We'll go Martin. Again. He can go here to stop. Now, since we're going to three, we'll do fatigue rolls. We did get a single six, so let's um, extended march rolls is what I meant to say. So, disorganized. All right, Confederacy again. So let's move Martin again. So we go 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So these guys are gassed, but they escape. This one should only be a three. All right. Confederacy. Let's move up Polk. So seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, you can only go to there. One, two, three, six. Five, six. 
Confederacy. Let's go Polk again. Seven again. One, two, three, six, seven. Initiative, better see. Let's do Joe Wheeler. Well, fourteen. Let's go one, two, three, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Eleven, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. Right there. All right, finally the union. Right. Logan. One, two, three. Union again. Let's go dodge. One, two, three, five. Union, let's go dodge again. One, two, three, five. Union, let's go Schofield. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Confederacy. Pick up Hardy's folks. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, eight. All right, Confederacy again. Oh, I forgot to move him. Two, six, seven. So, Confederacy Initiative. Uh, let's pass. We'll go Hooker or Schofield first. One, two, three. Let's go one, two, three. One, two, three. Confederacy will pass again. Schofield. Uh, EMs for these two, and they pass. Union go with Howard's core. That's not going to be fun. Confederacy. Confederacy will pass. Union. Let's go Palmer. Confederacy go pass Union. Let's go Howard. There we go. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. Union. Let's go hooker. One, two, three. Uh, retreat. Nope. One, two, three. Confederacy. Go Humes. So 10, 12. One, two, three, six, seven. One, two, three, six, seven. Two, seven, union. Let's go dodge. Wait, dodge, I already moved a second time, so do dodge. Let's do. Do low. Ten. Eleven. Actually. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right, Confederacy. Go cockroach. One, yeah, let's do that. Uh, low eight. Army wants to chase down these cav. Let's go one, two, three, four. Confederacy. Let's go Palmer. One, two. Let's see. Clear. Three, four, five. It's really rare in the system, I think, that you don't move along the roads. One, two, three. We have four movement points left. Um, oh. I went. One, six, seven. That doesn't really matter. Confederacy. Well, I Polk activates Sears. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, Union. Who isn't finished? Let's go hooker. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Confederacy. <clears throat> Let's go hood. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Confederacy will go ready. Union, Let's see, um, move this cab here. So, Stoneman, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Confederacy, pass, Union. Uh, let's pass as the Union, and we'll get ready for next turn. Yeah, all right. So I'll move it to here, and let's roll for Davis's pontoon. Or five, so let's check the modifiers. Okay. Uh, and he fails. So honestly, at this point, I might just move him down here for the flanking bonus instead. That's probably a better move. But that is a secret for next turn, so let's hit the recover button. Okay. Interesting. All right, well, we are on turn three, and I think that this is a, probably a decent place to stop it. Um, hopefully the next couple turns will fit in one video, but uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate everyone that watches video and leaves a comment. Uh, if there's a game or game series you'd like to see played after Atlanta's ours, leave a comment and let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you around. Thank you, and have a great day.